All right, we have another King Silvertone here. This one is also from 1928. This is a strange bird. Um, the bell, the, the bell looks just like a King 2B bell. If you hold them right up next to each other, you can't really tell the difference between this and a 2B bell, other than the fact it does not say Liberty or 2B on this bell. This ferrule back here is a little bit thicker than what you would find on a 2B. Um, the slightly more squared off tuning slide from these earlier model kings, this is the common taper you see in the 1920s horns. This is also a, two, a dual bore, but the upper leg, or sorry, the lower leg, the, 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 I forget which one is which, but the larger leg of the dual bore is much larger than it is on a standard 2B. I think this one is kind of similar to another one that we have. This is very likely probably a 480, 508 dual bore, um, much, much larger upper leg of the dual bore. Um, but the thing that makes this horn so different is that it actually has a slide lock. Um, the, uh, the, uh, sorry, the slide, the lock on the connector here and it's you still have the uh, serial number right where it's supposed to be which makes me think that this was a custom order because as far as i can tell this was not offered as an option on the standard king orchestra or any of the other models that they were selling in the 1920s um, this is during the era that they were also doing the new proportion models so like all the other horns from that era, this is um, got it's set up the way they were setting up the new proportion horns. But this connector, this modern king slide connector, this is not a 2B connector, this is not a 3B connector. We tried it against both 2B and 3B slides and they would not lock up. It's a little bit larger than both. So possibly a 4B, but I don't know. I can't tell you what size this is. It's it's not a standard small bore connector. Um, so I, my opinion is that this may have been something custom. Somebody asked specifically for King to do this. Probably somebody that was having to do a lot of crazy mute changes. Um, but for that, the bell is still in remarkable shape. Um, I don't see evidence of a whole lot of slamming cup mutes or anything like that in here, which is pretty amazing. Um, standard King Silvertone uh, engraving, very ornate, but it's the it's the normal engraving that you know stops about this far up the bell. Uh, this is a player, still looks like it's in great shape, and it sounds wonderful.